This video is brought to you by Scentbird, but we'll talk more about that later. Guys, there's a time in everyone's life where you just have to learn to grow up. It's time to get into the more adult aspects of life. Golfing, um, learning about wine, and the all-time classic, having really bad opinions. But most of those activities are reserved for the older folks. You know, the generation above us, and you know, they like to poop and stuff. But we are the new generation! of the United States of America. So it's up to us, the new generation, to become degenerate. And by that I mean never growing up and learning to treat Walmart as a place of worship. But you know, I get it, I used to love Walmart as a kid. Who would wanna let that go? You know, I went from buying Bakugan and Pokemon cards to um, a whisk and dish soap. <laughs> hey, how fun is that, folks? I'm living the dream. I'm living the dream, no. Today we'll be looking at these people, uh, I believe Fair and Mao. And as far as I'm concerned, they're a brother and sister who love opening toys. They love toys and, and, and candy. The shy clown I from John Long Silver. They sort of just remind me of two kids who escaped Neverland, but just like a little too late. And I want you to understand what I mean by that, but I think it's important for you to first just, uh, just take a look. Um, yellow, no, yellow, it's, green. it's yellow. Green. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. Oh god, dude. Oh god. Okay, so let me tell you what I see. And right now I'm specifically talking about Mao, the brother. This may just be me, but does he not fully represent an actual infant? The aggressive licking of the popsicle? The blank stare in his eyes? And who can forget the fact that he's just straight up making angry baby noises? It's blue! It's blue! Ah! Just so you guys have context, Mao is 17 and his sister is 22. Which means both of them can drive, but only one can actually vote. Dear God. Thank you. Well, is she eating just like a plastic wrapper right now? Oh, okay, no, she's eating a bomb pop too. You know what the saddest thing about this is to me? You know, I love sweets, but watching sweets be consumed in this way is wholly unappetizing. <laughs> Mao, Mao, we have a new toy to look at today. Oh, cool, what do we have? I love popsicles. It's blue, it's blue, no, that's great. it's blue. It has to be green. Ah! So here's the part where I might say something that I regret, but don't get too excited, okay? It's nothing that's gonna get me Cancel. But here it is. I can't fucking stand the guy's voice. I think that all kids content channels and toy channels and review stuff like this, all of them have a voice, you know? But there's something so pingy and might I say, disgusting about this one that I've had to take multiple breaks from looking at this video and it's the first video. So here we go. You know where this is going already. So it's gonna get pretty fun. Just so you guys know, this video has 25.5 million views. So normally I'd be like, how the hell does a video like this have that many views? But I've watched so much horrendous internet content at this point that this is actually starting to make sense to me. Help. Ready? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay, you just clapped like a baby. That's how a baby claps. When you put food in front of a baby, that, that's what they do. I bet their house smells like Gerber Life, um, and Gerber Life. Yes, yes, train. Okay, that's your first one. Oh my god, oh my god, what is it, what is it? It's water, it's water, it's, it's water. This one's easy. That's water. That's yes! Water. Yes, yeah, it, it is. It's water! But guys, I get it. You're confused about what's going on here, so let me explain. Activities like this are daily baby brain activities. Did you know that they make liquids that aren't gusher juice? I know that purse is high up on the counter, but just jump right up there and grab your parents' credit card for us, please. Okay, okay, this one's easy as well. Super easy. That's Dr. Pepper! Dr. Pepper! That's Dr. Pepper! Okay, okay, calm down. Calm down. He's talking like a baby. I can't help but feel uncomfortable by it either, you know? So I often think about what there is to be <sighs> proud of here. These are young people, so I'm going to assume that they also have friends that are their age. God, I hope. So how does the interaction go, you know, when they try and show these videos to other people? Hey, did you see our new Candy Crush video? It's good, it's really good. Yeah, okay, so guys, um, Guys. Let's see, next one. <gasps> it's so easy, Mal. You honestly, it's so easy. You got this. You got this. Orange Fanta. I'm sorry. He reminds me of those kids in elementary school who would get really aggressive during recess and put their hands on everything and everyone. I mean, he's got the look. He's the total package. But listen, if this guy loves juices and sodas and cookie candy, fucking whatever, just wait until he discovers vaping. It's right. Yes. Yes. I knew yes. Whatever you say. Right. Whatever you say. Okay, next. Okay, next. Next. Right. It's so easy, come on. Is that strawberry banana smoothie? Where the fuck did you get strawberry banana smoothie? Clearly these are flavored straws, you know, otherwise, um, otherwise they would actually be stupid. So you guess Dr. Pepper, Orange Fanta, Sprite. How do you get the strawberry banana smoothie? That's not licensed by the Coca-Cola company. You know those Coca-Cola polar bears? They heard that. Yeah, one of them is sitting in a deep dark cave right now brandishing a Bowie knife. I think I can recognize that I'm being pretty harsh right off the bat here. So one of my favorite things to do is see what people in the comments have to say. 
say? Why you date him? <laughs> it's a valid question though, right? Because if you didn't know they were brother and sister, you would be like, wow, these people are perfect for each other and literally no one else. I'm not saying that people like this don't deserve love, but when you find the one, you find the one. I'm not trying to say that they're dating. He got all of them correct. I wouldn't even be able to do that. I'm gonna be so real with you right now. If I did that challenge, it'd be done in under 10 seconds. I'm a fucking goat. <laughs> Additionally, he didn't get all of them right. How do you change the water, get it right, but then all the other time he's mine was going to soldiers? Um, Vietnam? I don't know. So the more I look at this video, the more I realize that it actually is probably fake. It's very clear that this was just their attempt at being quirky and making a funny <laughs> version of their usual videos. But their videos are so fucked in the head that how was I supposed to know that? How was I supposed to know this was a joke? If this is comedy, I wonder. I wonder what their version of drama is. Boys are us bankrupt. No! I'm starting to get a rather nasty odor from these videos, so I'd like to freshen up with some scents from Scentbird. Guys, I'm a super, super big fan of fragrances, and I love smelling good all the time. It's a must, okay? It's, it's a, a must. must. That was why I was so excited when Scentbird reached out to me, because like I said, I like to smell good. Scentbird is a monthly subscription service that allows you to try a new designer fragrance every month for just $17. Scentbird offers a selection of both perfumes and colognes, which is great for me, because honestly, I'm not very picky as to what I wear. I just, like I said, smell good. With each fragrance, you get a 30-day sample, which is super great because you won't end up wasting your money on a big bottle fragrance that you're not really sure about. They come in these cool little lockable cases, which I'm showing off for you now. The first fragrance I got is called East 12th by Ash by Ashley Benson, and it's probably my favorite, mainly because it's the name of my beautiful, delicious girlfriend, but it also has delicious tones like rose and black cedar and zesty orange. Ooh, another one I got is called Bloma Cult. It's packed with very fresh and woody notes, which I really like because I like to smell like a, like a lumberjack who's out in the, in the forest, uh, uh, lumberjacking. And the final fragrance I have is Mood for Greatness by Anishio Parfums Privase. Might have butchered that. Which, admittedly, is probably my least favorite because it's just a little bit too fruity sweet for me. But they don't just have these, they offer scents like Prada, Gucci, and Versace. If you're interested in what I believe to be a very good service, you can use code ANDYKING for 55% off your first month. That's a little over $7 off your first order. But now, let's get back to the main stuff. Mm, this one, this one! Okay! Holy shit, dude. Stop with that. Stop with that. Yes, this content is for children, but if I was a child and I was watching this, even I would be annoyed. But once again, like, I get it. You're not gonna make a kid's video and open up with, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're gonna be testing out some new glittering Orbeez. But you also don't wanna be like, it's just not psychologically sound. And as a parent, I wouldn't even want my child watching that. And people say that SpongeBob ruins kids' brains. Bullshit. Well, you must be talking about Mao, the real life SpongeBob. This one, this okay, one. Okay. Ah, oh my God, you dropped like 10 Orbeez on your head. This one, this one. Okay. Well, that's boring. I wanted to see the ketchup. Anything to make this video more interesting. Anything. You know what I'm thinking about right now? This poor, poor oak tree in the background. Oak trees live for like hundreds of years or something like that. Which means that at one point, this tree probably saw war. And now it's watching two Gen Z adult children pour chemicals on each other. Chop me down. Please. Mm, this one. No, I wanted to see hammers. What the fuck? That was easy content. Just kill. You know, I hope the kid is doing good in school. Uh, Mrs. Johnson, can I switch seats? Mouse smells like Play-Doh. He's eating it. It's getting louder. You need to stop it. Back to the hammers, though. Why not? Don't make me sound crazy for saying that. Don't make me sound crazy. I'm just a guy who likes a little entertainment in his life, and I can't be blamed for that. I can't. Um, this one Thank God. Oh my God, oh my God. Ew, that's not trash. You had one chance to show us the good content we wanted. It could have been like banana peels and shit and like ugh, garbage juice. But no, you gave us leaves and they weren't even green. They were brown. Dude, you still use brown leaves? Oh, brother. <laughs> Yes, yes, fall, <laughs> fucking fall. I feel like these videos are starting to affect me in a very negative way. Starting to sort of feel like I'm matching the energy within the videos, which is very frightening. I swear I'm not like this, and you know that I'm not like this, and you can't tell me. Let's hear from the people. The scream killed me, lol. Which one? I'd like to know. Was it number 15 or number 37? Get it? Because he only screams? The slime looks like season one and two of Stranger Things teeing the portal. That's what the slime looks like. It's like going to like a family function where there's just like a lot of extended family family or family friends and then you get stuck talking to that one child who like can't form sentences and in a pokemon game they like kind of took this brick and you turn a brick into cheese 
and uh, we always have it. See, I don't know what they're trying to say there, nor do I care. He picked slime because his dad never came back with the milk. It's pretty brutal. I understand the joke that's trying to be made there, but like, uh, is it really necessary? <laughs> it just seems overly aggressive for no reason. So I took a brief break from filming, uh, and immediately after turning off the camera was filled with a sense of existential dread. Not really sure what these videos are doing to me, but they're making me really angry to even exist in the content creation. I think the reason I get so upset about it is because I watch these videos and then like I imagine myself if I was making them and I'm just uh, uh I'm not done though because there's there's more believe it or not veggie prank on Rao what? let's go nothing okay so this is a veggie prank I want to sort of break down the psychology behind this because if you break it down it's once again really sad uh this implies that eating vegetables is a prank which uh, really sucks. And to a kid, I'm sure it would be a prank. I can never imagine a world where I have to prank my 17-year-old brother into eating vegetables, let alone plastic. But let's see, uh, let's see how this goes. Hey, Mo, if you bite these veggies, I'll give you $100. $100? What deal? Yes, okay. Okay, Mo, first one's the corn. Okay. Um. Dude, Damn. even Mao is tired of this one. He doesn't even want to do this anymore. And this is back in 2020, so that's how you know all of this is a front. I guarantee you these two wake up every morning in tears, preparing for whatever child monstrosity they have to prepare that day. Let's eat some cookies today. Okay, lettuce. This is so boring. I Come on, just bite them. Ew. Okay, guys, now we're going to be doing a real jalapeno. <gasps> A real jalapeno pepper! I wonder how this totally normal guy will react to eating the totally spicy pepper. Do you guys think he's gonna be calm and collected or loud and obnoxious? Okay, Mo, you ready to win $100? Yes, I'm going shopping. <gasps> what the? Loud and obnoxious, hit himself in the head. Let's run that back one time. He ran a crazy distance away from that can, so the throw was impressive. There's also just no way that he actually tasted the pepper. Like, you can literally see the skin of it go into his mouth and then drop out. I just realized that I've been spending most of this time talking about Mao, and it's because Fair is mostly the one behind the camera. I haven't had a single issue with Fair this whole time. It's all been this other guy. <sighs> What is, what is, um, what's everyone else gotta say? I was laughing so hard, I almost peed myself. At which part? At which part? Was it perhaps the goofy shenanigans with the watering can? Or is it the eating of the plastic? My favorite part is the illiteracy. <laughs> you guys ready to see the craziest comment of all time? It's so funny when he throws the jalapeno in the water fountain. It's almost impressive how bad of a description that is. I mean, the spelling goes kind of hard. But in terms of the watering can, is water fountain the only thing that you could think of? I will say, though, that's how I can tell that there are actual children watching these videos. Most of these comments are either in broken English or they just have a ton of emojis and... Uh, I'm simply bouncing off the walls right now, guys. I'm in, I'm in agony. I think this is the first time I've ever done a video where I'm going to call it because I just can't take anymore. I'm not putting this on for show and I'm not doing this just for the content, but I've actually been so rotted by this that I have to stop. I know that toy channels and kids content like this has been around for a long time, so it's nothing new. And there's no point in this one of me even saying to like, stop doing this or this is getting out of hand. Fair and Mouse seem pretty content with their lives and I I guess that's all that matters. I'm content with my life. Right, Rodney? Shut up. Didn't even give him a chance to talk. If you enjoyed this video, though, I would highly suggest liking and subscribing and commenting and not listening to anything that I say because I'm lying to you. I'm lying to you. Accept it. I'm lying and you you accept it. And thanks once again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Remember, if you want to get 55% off your first month, you can use my code or the link or whatever it is, you know, because I'm smart and I know everything and I can do everything. I can honestly say that this filming experience was grueling. I had a horrible time, a really bad Done. But now I'm gonna go take a nap uh, and sleep and eat and pretend that I have a normal life that doesn't require me to watch things like this. So that's all I have for you today, but until next time. Get it? The screen is empty because I really just have nothing to say.